All right. Good afternoon. And I said good morning earlier. It is definitely afternoon for most people. Thank you for joining us today for our open house. My name is Ashley Massey. I'm an academic advisor and the current dean of K through five students here at Colby Academy. We're going to get started with today's presentation with a prayer. If you'll join me, we have a litany for the Easter season. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father of life, we give you praise and glory. Christ is risen. Alleluia. You have given Jesus victory over sin. Christ is risen. Alleluia. You have raised him from the dead. Christ is risen. Alleluia. You have made his cross a sign of glory. Christ is risen. Alleluia. You have made us sharers in your life. Christ is risen. Alleluia. With Christ, you have buried us in you have buried us in death to sin. Christ is risen. Alleluia. With him, you have raised us to new life. Christ is risen. Alleluia. He is seated with you in glory. Christ is risen. Alleluia. He sends his spirit to guide our lives. Christ is risen. Alleluia. Jesus will come again in glory. Christ is risen. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're going to get started first with talking about Colby Academy's mission, which you can read on the screen there. So we are a mission-driven organization. And we're here to provide affordable, customizable, and academically rigorous Catholic education throughout the world. We have students all over the globe. With salvation as our ultimate goal, our flexible approach allows you as parents to tailor the curriculum to best aid in the formation of each of your children in the Catholic tradition. So Colby Academy was founded as a day school in 1980 by three Catholic families who were very concerned about the decline of education in the public school system. They wanted a wholesome, academically challenging environment for their children. The founders' goal was to form young Catholic citizens who could effectively defend their faith with a thorough understanding of doctrine and regular reception of the sacraments. They foresaw the growing need for better, more individualized and intensive instruction in basic education. So Maximilian Colby was chosen as the patron of their new school because of his deep devotion to the Blessed Mother. Following the example of St. Maximilian Colby, who modernized modern or who utilized modern print in radio to spread the gospel, Colby Academy is a pioneer in the use of tech to bring quality education to students around the world. So Colby Academy was um, established again in 1980, with the homeschool being founded in 1987. So after that original day school began, it didn't take long for families who lived too far away to travel every day to the day school to ask for help with homeschooling their children using our curriculum from the day school. Those first requests in 1987 was the beginning of our homeschool program, almost well more than 30 years later, and we're still going strong, thanks be to God. We've grown quite a bit since then. In addition to our traditional school at home program for grades K through 12, in 2013, we began offering live online classes for high school, starting with just 15 teachers and 129 students. Live online classes for grades six through eight were added a few years later. In 2020, our K through five online program was introduced. Today, Colby Academy now has over 100 employees with more than 70 teachers. It's quite incredible how far we've grown. You can read more of our stats there on our slide if you're looking for more information. Our three pillars at Colby is that we are Catholic. We offer a classical education that is customized. We seek to form the whole person in truth, beauty, and goodness so that every student can find their salvation in Jesus Christ. Our Ignatian education method is founded on the principle that man is born to praise, reverence, and serve God our Lord, and by this means to save his soul. It's our goal to form children into adults capable of being Christian leaders in the world. We achieve this goal by teaching children how to think clearly and communicate effectively and discern and act upon the will of God in their lives. Our classical curriculum and passionate faculty and staff help to shape every aspect of your child's educational journey. At Colby Academy, we take our loyalty to the magisterium seriously with all of our teachers and staff that take an oath of fidelity to the magisterium and the profession of faith at the time of hire or renewing of their contract. 
Our principle that we work off of is subsidiarity, which means that the parent is the primary educator of their child. So that means matters should be handled at the lowest or least centralized level of authority of, as possible. When it comes to a child's education, the most least centralized, lowest um, person responsible for a child's education is their parent. So with this in mind, we have designed our program to allow for flexibility in course and curriculum selection, as well as um, multiple, or we have two different tracks for our one diploma. This allows parents to adapt and meet the needs of each of their individual students with Colby's support there along the way. So Colby Academy is a full service curriculum provider and school. We offer everything you'll need to school at home, whether that's books, course plans, teacher manuals, answer keys, supplemental materials, standardized testing, grading services, um, the keeping of records and grades, offering transcripts. So parents can enroll a student in full-time or part-time enrollment, which we will review those different types of enrollments later. And you can choose the amount of assistance you want with the course type of online, homeschool, or self-paced courses. So here are those three different models of education. So we believe parent involvement drives student success. In our traditional homeschool courses, which you see on the left, Colby offers everything needed to educate at home, such as textbooks, course plans, tests, answer keys, and grading services. In our self-paced course, courses, which you see in the middle, there are also homeschool courses, but in a digital asynchronous format. So students will watch pre-recorded video classes and follow the online course plans to master each subject at their own pace. In our live online courses, which you see on the right there, students can learn in a virtual classroom among their peers with a live instructor who facilitates discussion, lectures, and grades the coursework. We're gonna delve into each one of these different options a little bit more thoroughly. So our traditional school at home courses requires the most parent involvement. It, the courses are taught and graded by the parent or through our Homeschool Plus grading service. We do provide those course plans and exams. You would submit sample work for each quarter or semester, depending upon the grade level of your student, to have Colby record and report grades. However, that is an optional service we provide. You're, you are not required to do that. If you would like a high school diploma, you would be required to send in sample work to ensure your student is um, taking the courses and receiving the credit that they need to graduate. We do offer honors courses and AP courses that will be weighted and designated. Um, certain designated samples will be graded by the advisor. Now for our families who have students with learning needs or disabilities, you can modify your homeschool courses at home along with providing any accommodations you would like. Students in grades six through 12 who are traditional school at home students can still enroll in our clubs that our online students take part in as well. Now our self-paced courses are those asynchronous homeschool courses. These are typically for students in grades seven through 12th grade. However, we do offer three, I believe, self-paced courses that a sixth grader could take. So that is something that you could look into if you have a sixth grader this upcoming school year. So these video-based courses are created by Colby teachers with self-paced students in mind. So we don't take our recordings of our live online classes and just spruce them up for self-paced. These recordings are made specifically for these students. Parents can set the schedule and assign recommended grades for these courses. However, if you do want grading assistance and teacher correspondence, you can sign up for our self-paced plus course. So you can see that our regular self-paced courses, there are honors courses available, and you can always add a plus onto that, which means there is a class discussion board for students to interact with teachers and peers. There will be pre-selected assignments graded from that course, and the teacher and the student can communicate via email. Finally, we have our live online courses. This is where our online program brings in a classical rigorous curriculum into a digital live platform without sacrificing the truth, beauty, and goodness that a proper education should provide a student. 
We take pride in our classroom and assignment design in that we have targeted live time and can continue to pr prioritize pen and paper, physical books and assignments off of the screen. Students will meet with their live peers using, um, will meet live with peers using Adobe Connect platform with a set time, depending upon the course. It could be once a week or twice a week for the full school year. Instructors will post assignments with due dates, hold discussions and grade student work using our Schoology platform. Courses begin in mid August and follow the typical school calendar with school ending around May. Live classes are held Monday through Thursday, although schoolwork will still happen on Friday. There just won't be any live classes on Friday. At the end of the school year, the grade is reported by the live instructor, so parents don't have to grade anything with live online courses. We do offer online courses in all subject areas for grades K through 12, including honors and then select AP courses. If you're wondering how much live class time a student might be in, we have uh, this chart that outlines the total hours required for the online courses offered by Colby Academy for the average student. This hours includes both in-class and out-of-class hours. It does not include breaks, and it can and will vary by student ability, diligence, and their focus levels. One thing to note here is if a junior high student is completing a high school level course, they should plan to spend the same number of hours as the high school level course. So in eighth grade, we do have some students who will take um, a high school math, science, or foreign language uh, course with us for high school credit. And those classes do require more time. I hear that from my eighth grade um, students now that they're definitely spending more time in those three subjects that are high school area compared to their eighth grade classes. So hopefully that provide some insight of how much time your student would be spending in each subject if you were to enroll in live classes with us. So we do offer some support for students to be successful in online learning, which we'll review on the next slide. But here we wanna talk about what sort of approach or attitude toward learning that both parents and students should have from the beginning of your time enrolling with Colby. So students should be independent and mature enough to complete assignments with little or no supervision from a teacher. Um, this doesn't mean no instruction, it just means no supervision. So instructors will still instruct how to complete assignments, but they're not going to be in the home to make sure that the student is completing that work. That's where parents come in handy to make sure that they are providing that supervision. However, students who are mature and independent will thrive in an online classroom. We also wanna see that they have time management skills. They're able to handle different online classes, meeting at different times, different days of the week, um, communicating with different teachers and being able to complete all of their homework on time. Another aspect is study skills, right? We wanna help them be able to own their ability to take time out of their day to study for certain exams or assignments and that, that may be required to be completed. And lastly, we wanna make sure that they're tech savvy, good typing skills. Now, they may not have those good typing skills yet, but it's something that they can work on over summer before they start online school. So I like to say that they have to be at least technologically inclined, which most students are nowadays. Um, that means they need to have those typing skills, a basic knowledge of web browsing, uploading and downloading documents, attaching documents, and using word processing software. Families can help their students by making sure that there is a dedicated computer per student, that they have high-speed internet, they have the hours to commit to these online courses and the homework that is required to complete those courses and master the knowledge. And that there is a study space for the child. And I would um, encourage considerment to be taken for what type of study space your child needs. Some students need some kind of background noise. Other students need to see nothing or they'll be distracted. So I know some families will create their own like little blocked off, almost like a study corral for their child to help them focus and not see any, anybody else. And other students have headphones on and might be listening to some music or something in the background to kind of give them something to focus on while they do their school. Now what Colby provides families and students in the way of student success is readiness. We want them to be prepared to start school in August, being ready to go. 
So we have a couple different programs designed to foster the student's success. Every summer, we offer a wide variety of courses, including a number of study skills and supplemental courses. In the weeks leading up to the start of the school year, we require students to attend a full orientation course, which gives them familiarity with Colby Academy's policies, the Schoology platform, and the Adobe Connect software. Throughout the school year, Colby provides live support through our academic advising office and tech support ticketing system. Now, at the beginning of the school year, Colby will also provide a live parent orientation to help family readiness. That will also cover general policies, tech use, and includes an opportunity to hear from experienced parents. Every family enrolled with us will be assigned a family advisor. So one advisor to communicate with your family and all of your students who are enrolled with us. We will assist you as advisors in selecting coursey courses and schooling at home guidance. Advisors are available Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific time via chat, phone, and email. We also have three Dean of Students who can provide for support for students um, if they're struggling or different issues throughout the year come up with maybe some family issues. So we are moving from having one Dean of K through eight and a Dean of high school to now having a Dean of K through five, which is myself, a Dean of six through eight, and then a high school dean of 9th through 12th grades. For our high school students, we offer uh, one Colby diploma in two different ways to earn that diploma. We have the recommended track. So that's designed as a college prep track with the goal of meeting the admissions requirement at most four-year universities. It offers a high level of flexibility and students can opt to follow the Colby curriculum as closely as they desire, including but not limited to seeking the Colby Honors H or Colby Core K designation in all coursework. Students must fulfill the course requirements by either the Colby courses or other high school or college level courses. If a student is not looking to craft a college prep high school experience, you can choose to opt or follow the minimum graduation requirements, which we've tried to tweak to allow to follow most states minimum graduation requirements. For those of you who are interested, we also have revealed our new awards for high school students if they want to take a certain type of classes or a certain amount of um, classes that they'll receive awards that they will be given when they graduate. Those are listed on our website. We're going to move to talking about enrollment types. We have four different enrollment types for full time students. So full time online, full time standard or full time flex. Colby Academy will be considered your school of record. For part-time students who are enrolling part-time, you're just enrolled with us on an individual course basis. And once you decide your enrollment type, you can decide how your student will take the courses, whether that's online, traditional homeschool, or self-paced courses. You can also mix and match different course types to meet your students' needs. Let's delve into different enrollment types now. The first one we'll start out with is full-time online. Most parents who are choosing this enrollment will typically be taking all of their courses or most, usually at least those six, from Colby Academy in the online format. Colby Academy, again, will be your school of record. Included with full-time online enrollment are any additional homeschool courses up to a maximum of eight academic courses in high school or 12 academic courses in K through eight. So in K through five, full-time online means you are uh, enrolled in a selection of courses that are pre-chosen for that grade level. In sixth through 12th grade, it means the students can select a mix of, you wanna pick it, usually around six online courses in that tuition, it's six is included. And then you also get a homeroom course. And homeroom is a course that we offer to assist students to build those study skills, to offer a time of peer interaction and a time of studying. I do wanna note in the K through five program, it is full time. It includes assignments and gradings for all subjects. In K through two, the subjects included with enrollment are those core subjects that are live and additional learning labs each day in reading, writing, and enrichment. In grades three through five, all subjects are included in enrollment with all subjects taught live plus additional homework support time. 
So you can see we do offer those report cards, transcripts, and attendance will be tracked for online courses with diplomas being offered for our eighth graders and high school students. You do have that family advisor who will assist you in planning and selecting courses, and your books are included via a bookstore credit for our bookstore along with a bookstore draft order so once you choose all of your courses during the course registration portion of your enrollment process our bookstore will send you a customized draft of the books you will need to order so they make it as simple as they can be for you you'll also be able to purchase a student id from us so that is full time online we're going to move to talking about uh, enrollment types that families who are usually picking more homeschool courses would be enrolling in these types. So if you're schooling at home with traditional homeschooling courses, these are the enrollment types that you would normally pick. Now, if you'd like to take one or two online courses or a self-paced course, you can still add those on to this type of enrollment. There's just a fee per additional course with self-paced or online that you're adding on to these next two enrollments I'll be talking about. The first one is full-time standard. Full-time standard is offered for K through 12th as our traditional schooling at home using Colby curriculum. It includes those course plans, tests, and answer keys, and you can add on those online and self-paced courses. We're still your school of record, giving you K through eight report cards or transcripts in uh, ninth through 12th grades. We offer the diplomas for eighth graders and our high schoolers. You will be assigned that family advisor to work with your family and you'll have your books included with the bookstore credit and you will receive that bookstore draft order as well and the option to purchase your student ID. Our final full-time option is full-time flex. The main difference between full-time standard and full-time flex is number one, it is not offered for our kindergartners. So if you're a kindergartner, you would have to enroll in full-time standard. It is only offered for first grade through our 12th grade. The second difference is that you are responsible for purchasing your books as you will not be receiving a bookstore credit or a bookstore draft order. So full-time flex is particularly crafted for families who have been homeschooling for a long time. They don't need a bookstore credit because they have all the books they need at home or they're willing to go and find those books from maybe families in their area or other resources. You still will be able to order a student ID during enrollment along with having report cards, transcripts, and your family advisor. Our fourth enrollment type is part-time enrollment. So this is when you're enrolling a student in a single or maybe a few courses. It means that your student is not seeking a diploma at Colby Academy and advisement will be limited to only that course or class for which the student is enrolled in. We will provide a transcript for that single course or if you have more than one course that you're enrolled in in part time, which can be sent to your school of record. There are optional services that you can add on. We offer a Homeschool Plus program to our traditional homeschool or even our self-paced courses. For parents who want an objective opinion or those seeking grading help in subject areas out of their comfort zone, usually for parents that would be in English from what I hear. Students are assigned an expert and experienced dedicated evaluator who will give personalized feedback on essay writing, thought development in writing, and test taking skills. Parents can send in any work within the Colby curriculum for your evaluator to grade. Parents can also submit compositions from outside of the Colby curriculum. Yes, you heard that correctly. So if you are enrolled full time with us, you can also enroll in non Colby courses, which you would just put on your course registration form, and your advisor would let you know if those are approved courses or non-approved non-Colby courses. Submissions for Homeschool Plus can be purchased in blocks of 10, 20, or 50, and you can purchase additional blocks throughout the school year. Again, mentioning our bookstore is where you can purchase our course plans, student text, spirit clothing. I think they have a great coffee mug that is too big and parent resources. You of course don't have to enroll with us. You can purchase our course plan separately outside of enrollment if you would like. We also do sell discounted used books that can be available for purchase. Colby offers standardized testing 
through Terra Nova and the Iowa assessment programs. We recommend testing your student annually in order to track your child's performance according to national norms. This allows you to focus on areas throughout the school year that need improvement and understand where to best accelerate or slow down your student. All of our scoring is done in-house using the publisher software, allowing us to score and return results to you very quickly. We are a leader in homeschooling testing services with our competitive rates, along with the free expedited results, which make it convenient and affordable for you to test your child. We've also teamed up with the classical learning test, which you can read about there, and the national Latin exam, which you can register your student in at the time of course registration. Now, if what you've heard today sparks interest in Colby and you'd like to enroll, the first thing you are going to do is apply. If you are a new student or have a new student, you'd be completing step one, which is apply to enroll. Then if you are a student currently with us or maybe um, if you've skipped a year or something like that, you would um, have re-enrollment that's open for you. You know that you can re-enroll if you've received an email with a snap code to re-enroll. Otherwise, you'll have to start at the application process, which is number one. After that happens and you either apply to enroll or re-enroll, you will open or edit your Blackboard tuition account if you already have an account you would just pick your payment plan. If you don't have a Blackboard tuition account, you would need to open one, which is step three. After your enrollment has been processed and we verify your Blackboard account is open, then you would move on to step four, where you will receive an email to choose your courses through our course registration form. Our K through five online students do not have to complete step four as new K through five online students will complete a live assessment before being registered by our admissions team in their courses. We wanna make sure that we place those students in their correct courses based upon their ability. To learn more about our online classes, we do offer a shadow week. It was actually this week currently. Um, I don't know that our next shadow week will be anytime soon with summer upon us. It will probably be later in August or maybe September, but we do offer that as something in case you're interested in having your students attend Colby in a few years. If you'd like to stay at in touch, we do have a form on the main page of our website, and I will share this link for you all to sign up to stay um, up to date on events we might be have, when the next shadow week will be happening, or any other things that we offer. If you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and post them in the chat box there, or you can use the Q&A box to post any questions that might have. All right, I see a few questions coming in. I am going to find that link for you to stay up to date with Colby Academy, stay on our newsletter, receive our emails. The application process for summer classes, if you are not currently enrolled with us, you would need to go to, let me see if I can grab that link for you. But you would need to apply to enroll for summer. And I will copy this link and post that in the chat box below of how you apply to enroll for summer courses. So to see when all of our courses, including summer courses, you would go to courses.colby.org for our school year courses next year. And for our summer courses, it would just be summercourses.colby.org. So I will share both of those links. Um, every course meets at a different time and day. So I don't have all of those memorized. The best way for you to discover those is to check those course catalogs on the courses.colby.org link. There will be a PDF of all of the, the sixth through 12th grade courses and when they're offered online for you to be able to see in a PDF form if you don't wanna use our filter.
And I do want to share the K through five online schedule. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up that link and share it with you all. So here's the link to the K through five schedule there. And the K through two schedule is a bit different than the three through five schedule. So make sure that you check the correct grade um, when you're looking at that schedule. If you'd like to stay in touch with us through newsletters, go to our main website, colby.org, scroll to the bottom, why educate at home, and you can sign up to join our emailing list. All right, we have another question. How do you find the transition is for students who are previously homeschooled and then enroll into full-time online? I'm wondering if most of the full-time online students are previously from brick and mortar schools. In short, I'm concerned that your previously homeschooled child would struggle more since he is not used to due dates, et cetera. Um, it can be a struggle. That's where we wanna kind of assess our students if they are mature and ready, how they handle you giving uh, due dates, if they're following those due dates, if they're pushing back, now, with you as parent, as the instructor and parent, some, some students have a problem with that. And we'll, we'll create more conflict in the home with getting things turned in on time. So that's really where you need to assess if your student is having problems with due dates because of maybe executive functioning issues, they can't manage their time well, or if it is more a pushback against their parent as instructor. So if you are concerned, um, something that you could do is to enroll or stay enrolled with us full-time flex or full-time standard, depending upon if you want that bookstore credit. And then maybe take one or two online courses or try a self-paced course and to test those waters. Another option, if you really want to figure out how to best assess now is to enroll in some summer courses. Now our summer courses don't have homework and assignments do the same way that a live online class during the regular school year would. So it's something that you, you kind of have to test out and you either do that by pushing the student to take the five to six online courses in a school year or starting to implement slowly. If you're hesitant about taking the jump, I would say integrate slowly into taking live online classes so the student can get the hang of having to interact and email a teacher that's not their parent. That would be my best suggestion there. Another question, do students upload assignments? Are they due daily, weekly, how often? So that really depends upon the instructor and the grade level of the course being taught. So students are required to upload and download work that is correct in K through five online. Students are required to practice penmanship. So that does mean downloading assignments, printing them off, writing things out, scanning them, uploading them. So it's quite a process, which is why we really encourage parents who um, know that their student is independent and mature enough to do that, online would be a great fit. If their student is not mature and independent enough to do those things, that would when the parent would need to have enough time to dedicate helping their student complete those tasks. And even in the K through 12 program, they still need some assignments that may be up, need to be uploaded, although more things are used in word processor um, than having to download and print things in hand, hand write. However, math, um, you need to see your work in math. So that is an exception where you would have to have some things written out and then scanned and uploaded to our Schoology platform. All right, any final questions? Go ahead and get those in their chat box or the Q&A box and I'll make sure I answer those. Another question, if teaching multiple elementary students, is there any crossover in the curriculum? So there will be some crossover and we do have parents who you know, have multiple children at home and they need to find ways to implement different courses across the grade levels to save time. Um, we offer a Colby program support guide. Let me get that link up for you, which gives you ideas of how to implement and integrate different grade levels working on different subjects. So, you know, for instance, religion, if they're all learning that week about the sacrament of marriage, you give one 10, 15, 20 minute overview. 
and then ask them to work on their own workbook pages. So you can save time that way, along with, you know, integrating geography and history together. You can teach some similar science concepts together. Um, you will have to figure out ways to combine and your family advisor can assist you with doing that. Once you kind of let them know what courses you're enrolled in, your grade level of students, they'll help you integrate those together. All right, so I just posted the link to the program support guide. Um, it's a great resource overall. It's mostly geared to our homeschooling students. It's about a 50-ish page document. Um, the portion I would have you look out for that um, planning is for elementary planning, which starts on page 19. It also offers a great breakdown of our courses. If you're considering enrolling in a reading course, how do you know, do you pick reading versus literature, composition courses, what, what, what is the purpose of our classical composition course, how it differs from our English course, and, and our different history choice, choices as well. If you are interested in learning more about our homeschool program, we have a homeschool two homeschool webinars next week. I believe one is on May 11th. I, I don't have the other date, but we will have a um, K through eight homeschooling webinar and a nine through 12 homeschooling webinar next week. We also had overview of our online programs last week with our directors of our online programs that you can find on our website underneath our archived events. And I believe those are also posted on YouTube. I want to thank you all for attending today and posting your questions. I hope I was able to ask or answer um, some of your questions. If you do have further questions about admissions or enrolling at Colby Academy, what that looks like, you can email admissions at colby.org. If you have more of an advising question about um, picking a certain course or if you'd like to use a non-Colby course and want more information or something of that nature, academically, you can reach out to um, advisors at colby.org. Thank you again so much for being here. We hope to see you soon.